I'll try my best. It's not easy, but it's doable. I can move uh, two players at the same time. Eh, got to both in the screen. Okay, <laughs> this way. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, as you saw, today we can uh, use uh, our controller to play with two players at the same time. And let's see straight away how to do this is construct. And I remind you that this uh, video is useful for both construct 2 and construct 3. So it doesn't matter which version you're using, you can still follow up until the end. Let's see the code. Okay, here yeah, let's see what we have did different from the previous uh, video. So basically a player, I rename it in play underscore 1 and I create a new sprite here, play underscore 2. Uh, both players are part of this family here yeah, that I call players and the family basically is, um, um, is able to you give the same behavior uh, variables or everything to all these kind of uh, sprites in this case that are part of the family. Families can be used also for time up and other stuff but in this case we just talk about the sprites. So, uh, I removed the behaviors to player 1, he used to have 8 direction and bound to layout. I remove from the player 1, uh, I add the same behaviors to players, and in this case, basically, the same behaviors are now available for, available for player 1 and player 2, because both of them are part of the family. As you can see, uh, behaviors, 8 direction, and on the brackets written players, the players is the name of the family. Another thing I did, is also uh, adding a variable, a variable uh, called n, like a player number. Player 1 is uh, 0, as usual we start to count from 0, and player 2 is 1 as a value. This because in the future, uh, we'll see in the future, <laughs> later in the video, I'm going to match these values with the uh, gamepad number. If you remember, uh, in the previous video, gamepad 0 was the gamepad for the first player and therefore gamepad 1 now will be able to control player 2. Okay, so uh, now in the presentation we saw that I was using this uh, uh, group here to move both players with two different joysticks. Uh, we go on this at the end, I will go I proceed with um, uh, step by step. So I disable this at the moment and go to enable this. Another thing I'm not going to show today is the part with the keyboard uh, because I don't want to make things too much complicated. You already understand the concept in the previous video. So now we just focus on the gamepad or joypad, uh, joystick as an input. Therefore, let's see uh, start away our first group. So basically this is the same as uh, it was before. Uh, I just change uh, and yeah, the name of the player as a... Um, as the name of the sprite, so nothing different. Uh, but the only thing difference is that uh, it's referring to the behavior of the family. But still, as you can see, the behavior of the family is still working as a, um, as a reference to the single sprite, even if I'm not referring to the family itself. So this is useful for uh, many reasons that you will see in the future. For the rest, everything is the same. So, uh, so far, I've enabled this group here and let's see what it's doing. Okay, so I can move only player 1 because it's the reference only to player 1. And player 2, I cannot move with the second joystick. Therefore, that's fine. And let's go on here. Now, if I do this as a reference to the family, it will work straight away. And I will do, I will show you straight away, replace object, I replace player 1 with the family. I can replace the player 1 with the family because every uh, reference here in this code is both uh, part of uh, players and player 1. There's nothing specific only in player 1 that is not part of the, uh, the player's family. Therefore, I can do this substitution, otherwise it wouldn't be possible. Let's say I have a... Uh, special variable that's available only for player 1 but not player 2 then therefore I can I could do this action if this uh, variable is referred in this part of the code I'm selecting so now I'm replacing everything and I start and let's see now I'm moving the first controller and as you can see I control two uh, spaceship at the same time 
this because uh, I'm uh, referring to the family and therefore I move uh, both of them at the same time. But why uh, with the first joypad I'm controlling both is because here, as if you remember, the reference here is to gamepad zero. So gamepad zero as input is moving both players here as a family. Therefore, if I want to do a separate input, I have to separate this. So I clone this group here and called player two. I replace player one with player two. And then here for every reference to the gamepad rather than zero, I write gamepad one. So it's a, all the substitution for all these uh, values here from the first to the last one. So while it's easy to replace player selecting the group, it's not so easy to replace player zero and player two player one, you have to do manually. Now let's see the difference. So I'm moving the first gamepad, first spaceship is fine, second joystick, and it's fine. So now they're separate, it's working fine. But this is not the best solution because uh, as we talk about in the past in the function uh, the more you can optimize the code the better it is because let's say if you want to change something uh, first of all you need to change uh, some behavior or some um, i don't know effect you have to do one by one in each group and therefore after to change it and also it's annoying every time you, if you want to add a new player you need uh, to create new group and then replace this value gamepad zero gamepad one gamepad two and so on manually so it takes time so it's really not the best solution for saving time it's still working fine and don't get me wrong but it's not the best way to program the game so if you can use this new solution i'm going to show you now so i disable these two groups here and i need enable this group here now i can see here is the referring to the family players and here i do this every tick so basically every tick i check for each player so so each sprite of the family players i do the same control that I was doing here individually and to identify which gamepad is i replace here players the the number that was zero one and so on with players dot n that is the variable i gave before if you remember to player one the value is zero and play it two and the value is one the four man is doing this action for each player the first time we do for player um zero and we do all the check then the second time we do for player two that is the value of one and therefore it will work for both and now let's see again so i have a two separate input now moving as you can see moving in different way and now you don't see but i'm pressing the joystick uh, different buttons for different joystick so it's working fine and there's no problem at all no delay anything so it's uh, the best solution you can have on your game if you want to optimize now if you like this video uh, you can uh, as usual click like and you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet you can activate uh, the bell if you want to receive a notification and of course if you have any question or comment please uh, use the comment section in this video and uh, as usual you really <laughs> help me a lot if you can uh, share this video amongst the other developers that are starting to use construct or they want to start to develop video game and a special thanks uh, to my supporters on Patreon, they as usual help me a lot to um, get idea about how to the um, which kind of video create and, and so on. And uh, that's it for now. I just want to give a final note. Uh, this for local multiplayer uh, is something that is uh, disappearing lately. Uh, we are playing more online multiplayer. I love to play local multiplayer. Uh, with my friend uh, when i was young but even until a few time ago before moving here to japan uh, if i had the chance i was playing with my friend and i think they should uh, discover and more games should support local multiplayer because it's a way to 
engage better and you have a better relationship with your friends and family. Uh, close this note. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. And the next video, as I said before in the previous one, uh, we are going to customize the input of the players. So every player can choose which way they want to move or shoot, depends, or, you know, depends on the game, how to use the which button for um, the input, basically. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.